Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Net Know the Networking Show. So this week we're getting a bit theoretical. I love delving into the literature. And I want to just talk to you about a thing called social distance. So social distance is a construct that is used. Um, I first heard about it when I started my PhD. Um, and I was like, oh, what is this thing? Is it like geography? No, no, my friends, nothing to do with geography. It's all about how we measure the distance between either two people or two communities, groups of people. And what they use to measure the distance between these groups Groups is empathy. Oh, I love this. Um, so looking at how much empathy exists between two individuals or two groups of um, communities is going to be the gauge in which to how either close those communities are or how far apart they are from each other. How part, And this is like comes down to how they feel about each other, how emotionally we feel. So when we can empathize with another person, when we feel like we understand them, we understand their objectives or their lives, we're going to feel closer to them because we understand them. So that social distance is reduced. In the context of networking, I think it's really interesting to think about how we, obviously one of the strong foundations of networking is building trust. And when there's no empathy between two people, I think it's gonna be really harder to build that trust. So looking at empathy as another additional kind of add-on element that we should be considering when it comes to building relationships, but also when it even comes to our strategy around networking. So thinking about the networking events that you choose to attend. So even if you are employed and your employer says to you, right, you need to go networking, it's up to you to actually find and source and select which events you go to. We've covered that in other episodes, go and have a little look. Um, but when it comes to this, this notion of how close or how distant we feel from other people, this could be a really big factor in deciding which events you do or don't attend. And that in turn is going to impact the people that you meet um, and the levels of those diverse networks that you build. So when it comes to the selection of events, next time you're looking at which event you're going to attend, I want you to kind of think, you're going to have an initial gut reaction. You know, we read the topic and we read um, the description of the event. Um, and for some research that I did recently, I did a, a, a survey and I got about 300 responses, which was absolutely awesome. If you did that survey, thank you, my friend, you are a hero. Um, and, I, and I asked people in that survey, when it comes comes to selecting a networking event what are the most important things to you and there was 11 different variables and I've pulled these variables together to and called them something called um networking event anatomy it's something that we made up but I think it sounds really cool and within those different 11 variables there's things taken from event literature so there was things such as um the time of day of the event the time of the day of the week the location food and drink I thought food and drink would be really big up people's like priority list because everyone always talks about food and drink about networking events um access to parking there was a bunch of different things and the results from the survey and um, there was I asked the question in two different ways the first way I asked is using a thing called a like it scale I'm getting very 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 PhD today um but you know just roll with me um a like it scale so it's like on a scale of um you know something that's really super important to not important at all where does this kind of variable sit and then people would rate it and then the other way I asked it was um here's the 11 variables move them around into order of importance put the most important thing at the top the least important thing at the bottom anyway both I, the reason I did two was because they gave different results and in the literature it says that one's more robust than the other so I wanted to do both ways see what happened and they did give different results however they both gave the same result when it came came to what is the most important element when you select which networking event to attend. And that element was the topic. The topic of the event was hands down the most important thing to people when it came to selecting whether or not to attend a networking event. Now, I think there's a number of different reasons for this. Um, and some of the answers came out later on in that survey. I asked people to, you know, if there's anything additional you want to say, type it in here. And there's like an open text box. Um, sometimes it's for making sure that you're going to get that return on investment from networking activities. So you're selecting the right event to meet the right people to achieve whatever your objectives are, which is wonderful. But actually, a lot of it was about whether or not people felt they belonged. 
So they would select a networking event based on whether or not they felt they belonged there. And I think this is where this social distance comes into play. I think if we see a networking event and it could be on the perfect day where we've got a gap in our diary, we're in the right location, there's going to be great food, it's maybe going to be at the right price point, whether that's free or cost, whatever. All those stars could align. But if that topic, if that description if it doesn't make you feel like you belong there, that's going to make you feel more vulnerable. It's going to make you feel like you don't belong with that group of people that you feel are going to be in attendance. And therefore, it's that social distance increases. You feel further away and more disconnected. And you're less likely to then put yourself in that position to go to a networking event with a community of people that you don't feel you're part of. And I think it's really an interesting construct to apply into networking and think about how we we build our networks with we are naturally born um we are naturally drawn to people who think the way that we do we speak the same language those homophilic tendencies to network and build relationships with people who think the way that we think because it, it helps us build trust when we have things in common with people. It's easier to have these conversations. But the problem is that if you're selecting networking events and you are just having conversations with people who think the way that you do, who speak the way that you do, then you're creating echo chambers of knowledge and resources for yourself. You're only you're all sharing the same information with each other. You're not actually learning anything new. And you're not building empathy with more diverse groups. So looking at that element of empathy and kind of confronting it and almost trying to find networking opportunities where you get the chance to network with people that you feel more distant from because by going out and networking with them you are going to learn about them you're going to learn about what they do their industry their sector their their culture their language and you're going to by building that empathy and learning about these people you're going to naturally reduce that social distance which is going to just give you access to so many more insightful ideas and spark innovation and create these more diverse networks for yourself to be able to see things from different perspectives, from different sectors and create more interesting and exciting opportunities for yourself, for your business, for your research, whatever it is you do. So don't let social distance put you off. Don't be afraid of it. Just be aware of it. Question it. Question why is it that you feel you maybe don't belong at that event and then see if you can push yourself to go to networking events that you might feel a little bit more uncomfortable at. Maybe it's a sector that you know nothing about, but the purpose of going to these events is to learn. So again, looking for opportunities that you can do that more diversely with different groups to help build that empathy and build those relationships. Absolute game changer. So we got a bit, we got a bit deep today. Hope you liked it. Let us know in the comments what you think about it. Um, and yeah, that's it for this week. I shall see you at the next one. A Liquid Studios production.